wake up to a snowy day in New England. Looks like a good day to make a pot of beans. That sounds good. Okay, today we're going to make uh, some homemade baked beans uh, with venison and some of our homemade maple syrup that we made about a year ago. Uh, I did do a video on the uh, processing, boiling, and uh, not bottling maple syrup. We make it every year. But anyway, uh, what we'll need is a bean pot, onion, maple syrup, about a half a pound of salt pork, molasses, pound and pound, pound and a half of uh, venison, a little bit of brown sugar, salt, pepper, and some gunpowder mustard. Um, you can use any dry mustard, but this is the stuff that I like particularly. So uh, first, you take your. Uh, I use two pounds of beans. You don't have to use that much. Um, but I usually soak them overnight, like a lot of people. Some people don't. Some people soak them. Some people don't. It's personal preference. I like to soak them. Anyway, we'll get started. Uh, first thing we're going to do is get my coffee. Mm. Take, our, take our pork. We're going to take our pork. Cut it up. Um, I like a lot of salt pork. Some people don't. You can use bacon if you prefer. But essentially, what I do is you just cut it in little strips like this. And cut it down to the rind. Not through it, but you just cut it down to the rind. I don't mean to be repetitive, but that's a lot of salt pork there, so I'll probably just use that much. And then I'll give it another little cross section like that. So essentially that's what you're putting in the bottom of the pot. And you take a medium-sized onion. I just uh, basically quarter it. Nothing fancy. And you take your venison. This is pretty well dried out. Uh, You know what I mean? Not a lot of blood in there. Put it in. Then, what I do is I take my beans. And you put your beans on top of that. And I'm using, uh, actually, cattle beans. Oops. My bad. Cattle beans, which uh, you can use red kidney, or but these have uh, they're grown right in Maine, and they're called cattle beans, and they're kind of white and they're kind of cool looking. Represent a cow, I guess. But anyway, that's what I like to use. When you get your beans in, as much as you want, I actually take the bean juice um, and pour it in. Once I realize how much uh, content I actually have in there. Like that. Set that aside. Then you take two thirds of a cup of molasses. I like the uh, Briar Rabbit backstrap molasses. Um, two thirds of a cup of that. Slow the molasses in February. Uh, a little trick you can do too, because molasses is so, I take boiling water out of the teapot and just throw it into the molasses like that. And uh, 
mix it up a little bit like that. And just pour that in. Comes out a lot easier and faster to do that. And I take my uh, homemade maple syrup, which I have plenty of, and I put two thirds uh, of a cup of that in, actually a cup, cup of maple syrup. Spoons of the dry mustard. Um, I like, as I said, I like the gunpowder mustard. And this is, you know, personal preference. You can put in more or less or not any. About a half a teaspoon of uh, ground pepper. Actually, got some milk. This is the good stuff. Oh yeah, smell that peppercorn. My God. And you can, or there's no point in putting in salt. Love that salt pork. You don't need ice anymore. Basically, you mix it all up. Uh, and then the last thing I put in is about a quarter of a cup of brown sugar. Um, so you get, you get a lot of sweetness out of the maple syrup, but you get more of a maple flavor out of it. And I use, uh, when we do maple syrup, we get three runs. We get clear, and we get the in-between amber. And then uh, at the end of the run, you get the dark, uh, which I prefer because the dark actually gives you the um, maple taste. It's, very, it's still sweet, but you get more of a maple flavor towards the end of the run. So I save, I mark all my bottles dark. And that's what I use for cooking if I want a maple flavor. Um, but then I throw in some brown sugar just for good measure. Um, you can't go wrong with brown sugar. About a quarter of a cup. And uh, that's it. Let's see. 300. And I'm putting them in at 9.30, so 3.30. Uh, I usually check them after about two or three hours just to make sure we're not uh, going dry and everything in there. And if I have to add my uh, liquid. Uh, but they'll be ready around 3.30. Take them out, let them sit for a couple hours, and then, you know, that'll be 5.30, 6 o'clock. Just about time for uh, dinner. So, all right, we'll get back to you. after I started, but that brought it down to perfect. Uh, oh, 
Now they're going to sit and cool for a couple hours. on there. A bit of venison. Quite a bit of venison actually. Let's suck that juice right up. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh, man. A homemade pickle. Guess that's sealed up. Oh yeah. Can't have baked beans without pickle lily. Mm-hmm. God, it smells good. All right. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. You can really taste that maple. in your mouth. Nothing like after working outside in the snow all day. Coming home to fresh homemade baked beans. Absolutely. And pickle lily. Mm -hmm. easy to make and delicious. It's an old staple. 